This morning, I want to go now to Deanna Butu, a political analyst and a former legal advisor to Mahmoud Abbas of the Palestinian Liberation Organization, who always uh, gives us the point whenever we talk about the, the, this region, uh, Deanna, that, that uh, the history is always informs what's happening right now. I, I assume you didn't uh, expect this this morning. No, I don't think anybody expected it, but I don't think that we should underestimate the desire of people to actually be free and the fact that Palestinians have been going through this for 56 years. So the fact that just we've just this year alone, we've seen 255 Palestinians killed by Israeli forces, that 47 of them were children. While many of us were surprised, we actually shouldn't really be surprised by what's happening now. This is the natural consequence, unfortunately, of 56 years of military occupation and the denial of freedom. Why, Deanna, though, does that not uh, play as clearly as this does? So here you have a world and Western leaders and the, the White House and the president who have all said that this is a terrorist act that must be condemned because there were over 2,000 uh, rockets uh, that were fired. And, and as you heard uh, Barack just talk about, there, there are hostages being taken in southern Israel. But over the last year, 200 Palestinians uh, have died, some of them with the supervision of the Israeli Defense Forces on the ground. That got no traction from anybody, and it's not getting traction today. In other words, the idea here is that the Palestinians are, are exclusively the bad guys here, and there is no justification for this. President Biden said that very clearly. There's no justification for this, and anyone who decides they want to help the Palestinians today, watch out. But this is exactly the problem, Ali, is that everybody has turned a blind eye to what's happened to Palestinians for the past 56 years. Actually, it's 75 years when you when you look at the Nakba and the ethnic cleansing of Palestine. And the problem is, is that it's the slow death by a thousand cuts that becomes ignored by the international community, by the Western media, that isn't ignored by Palestinians. And when something like this happens, all eyes then turn to Israel. But they should be asking themselves, what is it that we haven't been covering? for the past 56 years. And I can tell you, just this year alone, when it comes to everything from the attacks by the settlers, just yesterday, the Israelis set a, a Palestinian village aflame. Um, we've seen, as I said, 255 people killed just this year alone, 47 children, attacks on the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the people going onto the Al-Aqsa Mosque, same with the Ibrahimi Mosque. This is a day-by-day-by-day -by -day -by -day action on the part of Israel. Occupation is violent, and unless we cover that violence as it should be covered and understand the occupation to be violent, then we won't be able to understand what's happening today.